Oh, hoy, 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 everyone. everybody. How's it going today? Oh, my goodness. It's uh, Wednesday. I've lost track of days all week. I and don't I, know what the deal is. I've been sitting here for 45 minutes. I did not just rush in and sit down seconds before. While you were putting Flynn. your glasses on. You <laughs> yeah, totally exactly. We were ready in the night. <laughs> Oh, hi, we're glad to see you. Ahoy hoy, everyone. Um, my goodness. So, oh no, Shane's going to the dentist. I'm sorry, that doesn't sound like a fun Wednesday, but I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> my, my dentist plays David Attenborough nature videos while I'm sitting in the chair. Wow, very cool. Yeah, you can't hear him, but you can see. Well, there you go. So um, I hope I don't know why that's relevant, really, but I don't. <laughs> I don't have a lot of dentist anecdotes. My dentist is nice. That's fair. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> um, golly. So it was. Um, it's been an exciting day so far. I've, we're starting a. Um, uh, uh, well, we're looking at some stuff. We've got a. We've got a challenge midway through actually more than yeah. midway through we have we're like we're getting close to friday isn't it so there you go you know while i may not have <clears throat> pardon me i may not have a lot to say about the dentist we have a lot to say about lego they're so oh my goodness it's so kind, much it's kind of um well i won't say it's <clears throat> pardon me mm -hmm. i won't say that it's overwhelming but Gosh, they're going all out they, lately. They certainly are. There's so well. I mean, Sunday was crazy. Like we talked about so mm -hmm. many like of the sets that are coming up. Um, it's a little bonkers, I think. Um, here, I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm feeling more lively right now. Are you? Yeah, I am. There, there that's better. That. Than more lively. Brightness. Thank you. Always a little bit. Okay, so um, first of all, I gotta say, um, one of the overwhelming things is that. 57 sets made it through to Lego ideas for the, uh, you know, for the possible approval process. So we're going to be taking a look at some of those today. We're going to have to do that carefully. Have you ever walked into a department store into the perfume department? <laughs> And there's just too many perfumes. <laughs> It'll be hard to... I, I know that we'll have ideas about them, though. Exactly, exactly. The ideas. But before we get to that, um, let's see. How about we say... Um, let's see who's here. Okay. Say hi there's a bunch of people here. here. I'm going to step off and... Put away this frog in my throat. <clears throat> oh, please do. Okay, um, so we're just going to say hi to everybody. How's it going? Alexander23 is here. Barbarian King, that's a new name. Welcome. Brickanista is here. Uh, hi, Brick Squirrel Abby, another new name. How's it going? Uh, Brickworm, Chris, Fourth Bridge, and Nightmare I Know Chalice. <laughs> I know some nightmares, too. Um, Cowboy Cornado. Cowboy is Cornado here. is here. Darren Siegfried, Debo Bricks, Delicious Foods, Echo Bricks. Elise My mom's Johnson here. Johnson is Hi, here. Um, the Griebling Wizard, Heather Mraz. Holly is here. Hooded One. How's it going? Johnny Cat. How's it going, Johnny? Uh, Lego Ninja 13. Matthew, Matthew Builds, Builds Bricks, Bricks, who I had the pleasure of uh, visiting on Instagram uh, the other day, which was a lot, a lot of fun. We got to step back one here, and we're going to start the escapades with Maraid Walsh. Maraid is here. Yay. Maraid Walsh. Uh, Matthew Builds Bricks. Monica, Monica Berry and, and Moto. Moto. I know Minifig Chick has got something to do today, so she's not going to be here. Um, let's see, Rob Zaccardi and the Zaccardis. Uh, Lana, Elena, and Vanessa. And Rob, how's it going? Um, and Robin Eklund is here, Shane LeVan, and the Hornburgers. The Hornburgers. Ahoy, hoy, Hornburgers. And a special birthday hello to Julia Hornburger. Happy birthday. I know it was Yay. yesterday, but we didn't have a show. So there you go. We got a tricky lug hug. Um, there you go. Hooray. Happy birthday. Um, we've got uh, Wilfred is here. Bonsoir. Uh, Wire Puppy. Uh, and Zach Martinez. And of course, Zarakino. Kim. Also, great to see everyone out here today. Great to see all the new names out there today. Mm -hmm. um, please if give just, oops, a sorry, big there. tricky. Uh, please give a big tricky lug, tricky bricks. Welcome to all the new folks in the chat. We super appreciate it. And if you're not chatting, if you're just lurking, or you're on Facebook, or seeing us by any means. Even if you're space aliens catching our signal from outer space, welcome. We're super happy to see you. And Jake Sadovich is here. How's it going? Yeah, now I'm thinking about calling occupants of interplanetary craft, which was one of the big jokes of some of our very earliest uh, of our earliest shows. Calling occupants. 
of interplanetary craft. If you don't know it, look it up. It's Karen terrible Carpenter. and amazing. Um, so <laughs> and her <laughs> brother. You go. And her brother. Yeah, that other guy. Um, anywho. Well, he's kind of like the captain, right? Captain um, and Tennille. He, he, sort of, he wasn't the front guy. He was not the front guy. Um, so, first of all, yesterday was May 4th, as you all know. May the 4th be with you. So that and today is the revenge of the 5th. But we're not actually going to be talking about anything Star Wars. <laughs> is it, with, with regards to May the 4th be with you and Revenge of the 5th, would it be so wrong for me to do this? Oh. Is that so you're wrong? Gonna, you're going to cause an issue like I did yesterday. <laughs> a big uproar. Or, or better. Uh, but I, I have to Which say, honor. I did, I, I did uh, <laughs> manage to build some Star Wars sets on our... Um, on our stream or on our Twitch stream yesterday. And hello, Doc Sampson is here and you're right. It is Cinco de Mayo as well. So happy Cinco de Mayo to all of you out there who celebrate that as well. Uh, Darren Siegfried, I see everybody's popping in. So uh, I did manage to build and I just have to show this because it's pretty it's cute. adorable. So if you haven't seen, there is the, you know, the Micro Fighters series. And I was looking mm -hmm. for something because everybody on the raid train but me managed to get a Star Wars set to put together and I was so embarrassed. We so don't I went out and got them a early. Lot of them. We don't we have, have any. Well we have we have about four thousand stormtroopers, but no very, actual very Lego few set. sets. So I went out and then I, I said on Instagram I'm building my entire Star Wars Lego collection on Twitch and it was true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did build my entire collection and that is two sets, but I picked this up and oh my goodness, how cute is this little tauntaun Look, build it's, it's baby tauntaun it is baby tauntaun and it is um and here actually in case is the real tauntaun Whoa, figure kind of economies of scale there. right yeah. um and it came with a lot of cool extra pieces and um i also i built a couple of other things as well but those were the main it's, things i built it's kind of a t-rex meets a llama don't you think <laughs> <laughs> a little bit um so i got the but i i think i picked good sets i got the tauntaun versus um at, -AT walker mm -hmm. like micro scale and then i grabbed the mandalorian battle pack so now we have a bunch of mandos which is which is that's excellent. good any more baby yodas no more baby Yodas, oh, I'm afraid. Oh, Grogu. All right, so um, I think it might be time for pins. Pins. What if baby Yoda's name turned out to be Kermit? Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> All right. Um, well, I speaking of it's not easy being green, I have baby Hulk. Oh, right there, he's baby like, Hulk. He's like, clicky is getting him in focus. Thanks. Look at that. Rawr. And I am sporting this awesome Haunted Mansion pin that I love, even though it is gigantic. Um, and weighs my shirt down. And speaking of weighing my shirt down, if you were on the Twitch stream yesterday, so apparently, um, you know, you can do things where people can trade in their channel points, which you get by watching, um, for different things. And one of the things I have is putting on a pin, you know? And I didn't realize that there's a setting that you can set that <laughs> lets it be so that, like, once somebody redeems it then it's like another however many time you set five minutes 20 minutes half an hour right right before like, somebody like can redeem it again well they got me on it yesterday and i ended up within about five minutes 18 pins i was sporting 18 <laughs> 18 pins and it was crazy you there looked, were so many pins you pretty much looked like you were going to a concert with duran duran and madness <laughs> know, right? on the same bill i needed and everybody was saying i needed ms slow brick to send me a denim jean vest or mm -hmm. de, well denim jean denim vest so that i would have something to put them all on um or a sash maybe i'm oh, thinking a sash maybe more there's appropriate. precedent for calling it a jean vest they're <laughs> jeans jacket right? uh, but it was really it was fun and i had a great time doing it it was just like <laughs> completely covered um jake stud said i looked like like royalty because i had like full on is zach martinez right it was like armor so yeah anyway that's all the fun on twitch that you can have make me put pins on get your name written in the ding dong school scrapbook and uh mm -hmm. hear ukulele playing with singing is good, another thing that good happened thing they didn't you know you didn't put up their backflips because you would have been doing 18 back yeah, i know yeah that's never gonna happen i don't know Flynn, it's pretty flare good. sash i do i need that <laughs> what do you mean no um oh yeah and we talked about tater tots 
We introduced we introduced Jake Studs to the wonderful world of tater tots and all of and, and he apparently in 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 the UK they call them potato croquettes because of course they do. I love that. <laughs> <coughs> hey, Spud Hill Farm, welcome. No worries. Um, it's never too late to show up. So thank you so much for coming and visiting us today. I know even if you show up at the end, it's going to be on video. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah, definitely you should check out the Twitch thing. It's pretty fun. It's very silly. It's got a very different vibe from, from YouTube. I will say that. It's true. Mm. So, we've had pants. It's, it's very colorful. And there's lots of hype. There is lots of hype. Hype, hype, hype. Including some adorable Logan um, emotes, is what they call them on Twitch. But... Um, I'm conspiring. So I'm conspiring good. to get the Logan emotes here on YouTube. They can't have all that sticker fun over on Twitch. It's true. It's true. They can't. It's not. It's unfair, really. Hey, speaking um, of stickers, is it too early to go to stickers? Um. Oh, Maraid is saying that uh, croquette potatoes are bigger with more potato and that they're way better. Well, I bet. I will. I will take your word for it. I don't know, but I gotta say, well, I do in, love me in some in England tater tots. or in the UK, they've probably been doing them since, um, uh, you know, like Roman times. Yeah, and we've only it. been doing it for a couple hundred years. <laughs> Two hundred fifty now. How's Teach that happen? Croquettes, everyone. All right. Anyway, so uh, let's move on to one of our other features, and then we will uh, have some exciting times. I'm talking about Lego ideas. All right, here we go. It's time for... Sticker set, set show, show and, tell. and tell. Hooray. It feels like it's been a while since we did a sticker it set has. show and tell. Well, we have other kinds of features. There's, you know, Angela comes in with things from the crypt. <laughs> right. And okay. you know what? What's I don't that? know. He didn't make it onto the stream the other day, but we had a visitation from Mangela. Yes, that's um. <laughs> he was. He actually works for Lego. Ms. Thing and Angela's brother Mangela. He was. He was demonstrating a Lego product. There, his hand was. He, well, he is his hand. <laughs> He shakes, therefore he is. Okay. Anyway, moving All right. on. What is this, Flynn? Um, uh, it's a sticker set, and we're going to show and tell it. In Earth Tones, Satisfying Earth Tones. This is from set 70751 from 2015 with 1,966 parts. It's the Temple of Erjitsu from Ninjago. And it came with 13 figures, too, one of which has got to be Cole. It is. That's because it says right there, cold stuff, hands off. Yep, right there. Pick that out. He's running away. It's a really either cool that, set. Either running away or pole vaulting. I can't quite figure out what. That um, must be his quarter step. And so these are on clear stickers. Yeah, yeah. So, whoa, oops, hi. Hi. Ooh. Oh, we look, we look great. We should do the whole show like that. <laughs> <laughs> so this was one of our first really big sets that we ever got. And it just, um, the international, these are from the Temple of Air Jitsu, Holly. If you remember, yeah. we got this when we were working on our first big piece, California Dreamin', yep. and we were not in our house. We weren't in our house. Right? We took Lego World yeah, Travel. Yeah, it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. It was construction. Whoa, that I know, landed look at that. well. Pretty good. <laughs> Two points. <laughs> It's a great set, and the best part about it is it has like a little shadow, a little shadow show. Oh dear! Two points. Um. <laughs> That's our referee. Um. So, oh, and look, I there's our little three D printed minifig from uh, Diggy from our buddy. Thanks, Diggy. Diggy. Um, and those are you can't tell, but they're Duplo plates behind there. There are Duplo plates behind there. Okay, so um, I feel like we better get looking at these here, these here yeah. ideas sets. Well, I heard a cry this morning. I heard a cry go out over the web. Did that you? There was big news, big, big, big. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, and um, well, actually, you know what? Before we get to that, I've got something. Mm -hmm. that we have something else to talk about. Um, so let me. I'm going to go over to the interwebs here. Uh, or the, the thing here. So that's one of the first Ooh. ones, but that's not what we're looking at right now. I'm very sorry, but I need to step away for a moment. Okay. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'll see y'all in just a minute. Okay. 
Um, so I've got here. What am I doing? I'm all I'm so confused. Um, I've got so anyway, this is one of the Lego idea sets, but we're not quite there yet. I'm going I'm trying to find the uh, the little thing here that shows the picture. There we go. Uh, and I wanted to show you this awesome thing. So, as you know, I have been participating in the in the quarantine cast uh, uh, on uh, Beyond the Brick TV's show, and they uh, they got together with an artist, uh, Funny Figs, who did this awesome one year anniversary uh, poster for them, um, and I thought it was. So, I thought it was just so cute. I love the um, the character the the caricatures. So we have Joshua Hanlon, uh, Brian Saviano, our buddy Bricks O'Brien, and uh, Kirk of Vision Bricks down there on the bottom. The three of them have been doing this for a year, and um, they're going to be uh, they're you know you can buy these on on Brian's Etsy store. But I wanted to show you, and I love this. Okay, so um, Joshua's brother John is the one that does all of the. Uh, all the production on the show, all the behind the scenes, and he doesn't like being on camera. So I love that we have his arm sticking out here from behind this little list. And I was looking a little closer at the list, and I just wanted to show you something that I'm super excited about. Check this out. Right there, right under the T-I-N-E, look what it says. Tricky Bricks. We made the list, and here are a bunch of other people that were on that also have been um, regularly appearing on the show. We got uh, uh, Jang is there. Everybody knows Jang. April B is there, queen of our uh, Twitch raid train. Between the bricks, that's Dan, also from our raid train. Andres, who, if you haven't met him before, is hilariously eccentric and so funny. <clears throat> We've got Boon builds. Uh, just too good is there. Mr. Hinkle draws Brick and Nick, who's amazing, and then right underneath of us is uh, just partially, slightly obscured as Joseph Zawada, um, another friend and fan. So, yeah, I thought it, I thought it was so sweet that they included everybody and included us, and we got right on the top of the list, first top billing. <laughs> it's just pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, so you can check that out, and you can check out Brian's um, Etsy store where they're going to be, uh, where they've got these uh, for sale. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and close this now. So very, very cool. Yes, uh, uh, Cowboy Cornado, he is very, <laughs> he is very funny. You always know when he's going to be on that it's going to be um, upbeat and exciting and have something to say. And he was like sporting this like really amazing hair yesterday like a total like christy mcnichol like uh you know like flip hairdo going on no and i okay i just want you to know i said christy mcnichol and no one knew what i was talking about like everybody was just like what are you so i said google it look it up kids if you don't know what that is um Anywho, uh, so uh, I think, back, OK, we I he I have word that he's going to be coming soon. Um, so um, I wanted to. Uh, oh, check out this awesome minifig that I got you guys. It's Magisto, who is a, uh, a vintage castle minifig. Whoop, that was the wrong one. Here we go. Ooh. Trying to focus a little bit here. Whoop, that wasn't it either. I like that you can just see his eyes above the beard. Yeah, here we go. Come oh, on. Oh, you didn't grab it. Got it. Look at that. Jerk. Hi, there everyone. That's Magisto. I've been wanting him for a while, so I'm like super excited. I got him like old school, old school wizard style. Um, all right. I don't even know like the primary Dumbledore. It's like the proto Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Prime. Yeah. He uh, is Dumbledore Prime. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Very good. All right. So, whoops. Um, I think it's time that we went ahead and dove into these many uh, Lego Idea sets. What do you think? Yes. I, um, think, I think we should. Okay. Here we go. Star Let's Wars. Is over. that the one about the little wizard boy? <laughs> Exactly. Um, all right. So 57. All right. I want to scroll up here and just just look at this. This is so crazy. This is, this is going to be a, a whirlwind tour. I don't I don't think we're we may stop. 
We may stop longer on some of them. We'll be stopping. But this is a them. whirlwind tour of these things everyone has worked so hard on, and each one of them followed this through the process to get ten thousand votes. Right? right, exactly. So I so I just wanted to say um, that. Uh, first of all, congratulations to everybody for making it to this many votes. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of really, really good ones in here. But oh my goodness, 57. That's a lot to choose from. And I think yeah. the, the downside of that, especially since we know that they only ever produce one or two per, they've only been doing one yeah. lately per pick. That means that for every extra, you know, every other set that gets added on, that's a percentage chance less that it's going to get picked. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I know all of these made it through the process, and the and the process is very fair and equal, but this must be an almost unbearable emotional roller coaster for these builders. Yeah, I um I, I I'm just I'm really floored by I mean and I think they're and I think they're beautiful and again, like unfortunately they're not all gonna make it. And, mm -hmm. and so while we're talking about these, I just want you to know that when when we're talking about and giving our friendly critique of these, a lot of what we're talking about is not like, I mean, we are going to give our personal opinions, but when we say, like, I think this will do well, a lot of that is based around Lego's decision and what we think Lego's decision will be, um, like, as far as, yeah. like, sales and, what, and based on what they've chosen in the past. And I know it's a mystery, but... Um, you know, and, I'm, and it, it, does, it does open up a debate about, you know... What is, um, is it too many? Is 10K, is 10 <laughs> is 10K gonna be, um, is it too low now? Oh, you wonder if they should re, if they should readjust it. One thing I noticed looking at all of these together is how very good all of the photographs are. They're very, they're very clear. A lot of them use backgrounds that are not Lego, like photo backgrounds to right. that sort of added mood. Right. And just to sort of reinforce that what we're giving here is our opinions, and we're not saying it's a quality model or not, just, you know, whether we think it's going to oh, do well. We got our crystal ball Ooh, out here, and we're, we're just going to, gonna, oh, I got fingerprints all over it. into the crystal ball to see what we might, uh, what we might see in the future. You okay. never know. That was terrifying. Was it terrifying? <laughs> <laughs> <Huge. laughs> um, and yeah, I think, um, I Fun think. with optics. Yeah. And Rob Zaccardi brings up a good point. I think the IP published many of, uh, uh, pushed mm -hmm. many of these and not necessarily the builds themselves. That's true. Um, well, that goes and, into our calculations, too. Like, we've had conversations with, you know, with our panel of experts here panel um, of experts. about how some IPs are a lot more difficult to make it to set just because of what the IP is, right. how popular it is, if Lego has already done IP associated mm -hmm. with that. Right. And then and, you know, and the the IP rule doesn't doesn't keep something from getting here, I don't think. And like, what even is it should? Um, IP is intellectual property. So that is, you know, your Disney, your Star Wars, your Marvel, which are all the same. I was going to say, which is all Disney now. Um, but <laughs> um, specifically, it's about not doing IP that Lego already has. But then we saw or that Winnie the Pooh. So I don't know. I don't you know. You can't do IP that Lego Blocks has either. Right. Right. For Lego. OK, so here we go. Um, now, these, it says here, are going to be uh, eligible for review in the fall. Okay? Okay. This is a way preview. Okay, so this first one is The Princess Bride, The Gilder Frontier by F.S. Linad. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not. But, well, of course... the figures are awesome. Yeah, This is course. all about the figures for me. I love... I love, love, love the Princess Bride. It's great, and I love the little, I love the little micro build um, there with all the little touches. I especially love uh, right here the little, um, the cups here on the left. There's like the two cups from the. And um, obviously, I cannot <laughs> take this. <laughs> You put the glass in front of you. Uh, so yeah, so I think this is, I think this is really cute. I think it's fun. Do I think it's gonna make it? Probably not, but 
I, and I I absolutely love the figures. I do too. I do too. And the and the and the only reason I say that is because it has the micro build combined with the minifigures, which I know they did like with Hogwarts Castle too. But there's but not much interplayability with exactly, those, right? Really, yeah. yeah. A shrink ray or a grow ray for, for one of the two parts. Right, but yeah, it really is all oh, about the like, minifigs here. Did, how did? No, they didn't make him taller. Did they? No, make he's him got taller? short legs. Oh, Andre the Giant. Andre the yes, Giant he is has, taller. He has little plates on the bottom of his shoes. I think. Oh, got it. Um, okay. Next up, now this to me, this is a winner. This love, one is love, so love. good. By uh, the Tutankhamun uh, mask by Swan Dutchman. I love this one. And how smart is this builder that they already put it on a black background that looks like it's halfway ready to be a Lego box? <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, <laughs> I absolutely love this. And when I first saw the tiny photo, I didn't realize it was Lego until it got bigger. Um, yeah, I, I, um, in another context. Well, and then you've seen it, the, the bigger version of this was outrageous, but there's no way that that would have, uh, that would have come. So I think no. this one, and again, going along with Lego's whole sort of, um, uh, uh, objet dart that you can put on a, yeah. on a shelf or, and appreciate, I think Tish, this is that's really French. good. Mm. <laughs> and am I seeing on either side of the sort of um, chest plate there? I'm seeing stickers of Horus. Yeah, there's some pretty cool. There's some pretty cool little uh, sticker stuff here. I love this one. Okay, it, it seems like it really fits into the ideas line, doesn't it? It does. Um, here is a great one. Now this is the Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween Town by TV Rules My Life. <laughs> I feel ya. Um, this is wonderful. Um, we do already have official Jack and Sally figs from Disney now. I mean, from uh, from Lego. Now, again, like, I don't understand where this falls in the IP thing. Like, I guess I just don't understand the IP rules mm. enough. I need to do some kind of thing, you know? Well, we know someone owns that property. It's just a matter of whether Lego can use it, right? Mm hmm and, and they have to go through lots of uh, uh, process order to do that i love the chimney the chimney is my favorite thing on this whole model yeah it's really um it's really delightful and, and i don't but i gotta say like um it, 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 holly says i wonder at what point lego lost that license you mean for nightmare before christmas i'm not sure but it seems like everybody has a nightmare before christmas licenses on soap and towels and minifigs and oh my goodness just everything right like there's so much um but it's a really cool concept. I really like the I really like the tree with the skeletons on it. Mm -hmm. I think it's got a lot going for it. Um, I don't know if this one will get made or not, if this is a, a I mean, I think it's cool. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm undecided on whether I think Lego would be would move forward with this or not. I think I love how the pumpkins give contrast, but sticking to the monochrome black and white color palette makes it not quite as bold as some other builds. It doesn't seem to leap off the page. Very Even true. though I love black and white, I think this yeah. would be a really fun build. Very cool. Um, okay. Next up, we've got Hyrule Castle by um, Artem name i'm not even going to try to pronounce because i will just mangle it um so apologies to you um artem another mostly gray piece but with a lot more color pops right so again we've we are touching on now this isn't an ip that um that lego has moved forward with before so this, this is, is is not got it um so hyrule uh, um, zelda stuff has been has been submitted over and over it always gets lots of votes and it never um it's it's I don't know. I, this one is a is a maybe it, for me. It might be tough business wise. Yeah. And, and I think in, 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 and again, in this case, the thing that really makes that would make this really stand out would be the minifigs and the props. And because the castle, even though like if you're really, really into Zelda, you would recognize this as Hyrule Castle. I don't know that it would play like to others. It's just a castle, which is great, too. But yeah, I think. Um, but, you know, they do have. A Nintendo license, and they may be planning on something of this on their own. So I'm going to have to put this in the probably not zone. All right. 
I mean, I think it's great, but again, like, would Lego consider it to be something they would do? Well, my prediction, I don't know, we've got that crystal ball, right? Mm -hmm. My prediction is that Lego is going to lean hard into Castle and that they already have their own plans for new Lego Castle. Well, we just saw that three-in-one set that's going to be coming out, right, um, mm -hmm. with the Castle, so... Okay, next up we've got the Polar Express. Now, we haven't actually seen a train... Uh, a train make it through or, or we haven't seen a, a train ideas set so i would say that like i mean maybe we did but i don't remember it um so this is a maybe i want to see more of the model yeah I like this see is more an the model. exciting shot like a movie poster but i want to see what the train looks like because i like trains you know we're this gonna do a mini train. Brick productions we're gonna do a train episode we haven't yet because it's a really big thing to take on but makes me think of lego trains yeah. It has a light in it. That's cool. So and and this is so this is a case again where I look at this and I say, like the last one, if you don't really, really know the Polar Express, mm -hmm. this is a train. Well, I got to wonder, too, are those two houses buildings that are part of the set? Um, It's tough to tell, right? Right. Like it could be hidden side. Right. I mean, I think, that, hey, see you later. How's it going? But I love see, trains, yeah. and trains are hard, so I, I wish it luck. I just want to see more of it. Yeah, same here. Uh, and they did, you know, they did just do some some things. Um, and it, I would agree with you, Cowboy Cornado. It's a little over-photoshopped, and, and you don't see the fig. The fig isn't entirely intriguing, I'll just say Well, that. this is definitely a more fun model than if they had done a mosaic of Tom Hanks' character from the Polar Express, because... Or the terrifying dead-eyed children. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying it was that. It was kind of early in computer animation. Oh, I just fell out of my chair. I know this is so cool. So this is oops. Ah, from Brickhammer, steampunk airship. I have so much love for this. This is so incredibly cool. Yeah, and I have to say, I really, really, really wish that. Um, that Lego would do a, a steampunk set. Yep. And, um, and you know, we have we have one of our favorite steampunk sets is by um, Stephen Packbez. Yeah, right? his, he did a dirigible. Who did a amazing. different dirigible? Um, you know that uh, with wings. Now I now I know that now and I should mention that uh, some of these may well end up going into the BrickLink program, which is currently which happening. Which is, and that's, it's great that there is that other outlet for, you know, yeah, uh, for mocks to get built. Yeah, I, I think this one is, is really cool, and, and I'm really surprised that they haven't already leaned into the steampunk thing, especially because steampunk has been around for quite a while now, so it seems like something that they would, um, you know, that they would... This, like. this piece, although it's very different than his style, this makes me think of Moto in two ways. One, um, he makes these great egg sh that great egg shaped ship, mm -hmm. right, with utterly different color palette. But two, he just made a big red balloon that was popped by a dart, and I'm imagining this flying up and being the <laughs> being thing, the needle. popping the balloon. I love this, and I think the photo background really elevates it, but yep. you still see the model a lot. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so cool. Okay. Um, Yay, I love this story. <laughs> I do like this. I think it's really cool. I love the model. <coughs> My only reservation is that, like, doesn't she, like, eat children? <laughs> like, isn't that <laughs> part of it? I don't know. <laughs> Just saying. Um, I mean, I do well, love it. Well, there's all kinds of scary fairy tales, though. Sure, but... That's kind of central. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna say um, I really do love the um, the upside down bushes on the and the chicken feet. I think are really great. And I, we've seen some Baba Yaga uh, concepts before. Um, I think this is I think this is great. Will it make it through? I'm gonna say probably not. Even though it's a really mm. delightful model. One thing I love about this is how bold were they to put that house on those spindly little legs and have it be able to stand up. Yep. Right. Oh. It, and it reminds me during Lego Masters, um, in the um, in the storybook challenge um everyone had to make a book chicken and i remember we tried very hard to make a book that was on spindly chicken legs and we ended up going another direction <laughs> um uh, so alexander 23 um oh sorry i mean um gosh okay rewind 
sip of coffee. We have somebody in the chat right now who knows a lot about this uh, Lego Ideas process, and that's Ben Alder. Everybody, say hi to Ben. Ben, the the uh, creator, the fan designer of the Winnie the Pooh set, who was here visiting with us a little while ago, and he mentions that this one got to 10k really, really fast. Well, so. it's so singular. Like I've I've never seen another Lego. Uh, Marble mouth. I've never seen another Lego model that looks like this. Yeah, I think it's cool. I love the color palette and and what a cool minifigure Baba Yaga is too. Yeah, and I'm and I but I'm and I'm I'm afraid I'm going to say it wrong. But what I can't remember where what country the Baba Yaga story is from. So apologies on that. But also it, it I got to say Eastern European. But I can't. That font is awesome. Yep. And that looks like a brick is built that, font. I think that's a brick built font. And yes, of course, Holly and Jake know too. We have a we have a bunch of uh, every uh, of um, of Lego Ideas people in here. Uh, Russia yep. is what I thought, Wilfred, and I didn't want to say it and have it be the wrong thing. Um, so there you go. All right, uh, here we go with the Office. Now I will say the Office was a, is a very popular <laughs> show. I liked it very much. Um, and there has the there have been. Um, uh, there have been a lot of sets depicting um, a lot Lego idea sets depicting TV shows. We've yep. had Friends. We've had the the Big Bang Theory. We're getting a Seinfeld one. So it's possible this could make it. It's possible, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And we have seen um, one like this before. And I think there are a couple in here that are actually coming back around again. Well, I love the show. I love all the figures. And and I think this kind of TV uh, TV studio set has a lot of playability. But if you take the figures out and move them around. Um, yeah. Th the model is is. Uh, I don't I, I never want to minimize people's contribution because I know so much work goes into all of this, all those tiles on the wall and all this. It's just not as as exciting of a of a set design. And I don't mean Lego set design. Mm -hmm. I mean, television set design. That kind of office is not like thrilling color wise. And Debo Bricks makes a good point that this has failed several times i um, just the office in general and i think it might be that be unlike some of those other uh, sets like big bang and and uh, friends and stuff mm -hmm. this show really went to some places that maybe lego wouldn't appreciate i oh. mean in a in a in a poking fun kind of way but still like Eh, it, 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 it treads a line and I but I love the office I gotta say British and American version both um okay I love all the detail on the walls yeah it's really fun I love the Phyllis minifigures makes me really happy <laughs> for whatever reason I love it um okay this now this one is interesting uh lego dna double helix discovery um I think it's a really interesting build I'm not entirely sold on the color scheme that's uh, it's it's funny i love the shape and and i'm surprised that for a scientific model this is so muted yeah um in color um, um but wow how challenging must it have been to build and design this yeah right yeah. It, it feels like the kind of thing that before it's all properly stabilized would be really prone to collapse yeah and it's huge like look at it with the minifigures it's really big yeah i mean i think it's i do think it's really cool and i think it's really big and i think that may be i don't know i don't know oh, do you I, think I, parts number is problematic yeah i just think in it I th while I think it's cool, I don't know that it's going to it would be something that Lego would consider popular across the board. Right. You know, well, I'm mean? a huge fan of science and art, you know, meeting. And, yeah. And anything that Lego does with science, I think is cool. Yeah. Um, all right. Here we go. Oh, now here we go. Oh, wait, we're getting some science here. It's a right. It, it, am I getting this right that it's a right handed double helix? Oh, well, there yeah, you go. We got some science. Better than what I know. Um, okay. It's, uh... Oh, is this Mulder's okay, office? So I, I, okay, so maybe... Okay, so maybe you're right. Maybe I was off base by saying that uh, the office tread ground that Lego wouldn't like, because certainly we've gotten um, Stranger Things and, you know, Seinfeld and, and other ones, but... 
And you just, I don't know. Who knows? Well, Who again, say? we're we're providing our opinions yes. about this. This is we're not providing anything definitive, and right. and we love everyone's input in the chat about it too. Okay, well, uh, this one is close to my heart because I love the X Files. Do I think it'll fly as a as an idea set? Probably not. Um, it's a pretty. I, I would have to say it's a pretty small build in comparison to, like, say, the Friends set or even the Seinfeld set. Um, and I love, of course, mm. the minifigs. But I'm, I'm um, on the fence about this one. Well, first of all, I wonder if they've found a way within the Lego system to light those flashlights, or if that's an effect. <laughs> right? I, I think love. A, I think it's a, a Photoshop. The Mulder effect. and and um, Scully figs, and that is so. As a lighting designer, I love like how every space they went into was foggy. <laughs> 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 and there must be an I believe um, tile on the wall. I'd love to see um, this set expanded to include like some aliens or creatures or other kind of X-Files Scooby-Doo monsters. Yeah, and this is by Brent Waller, who um, who apparently did the Seinfeld set. So there you go. Well, the, min um, the minifigs are great, and I love Mulder's office. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, and it would be all right to have a smaller ideas set, too. Sure. Right? They don't Absolutely. all have to be... Giant. Okay, so this next one is um, Metroid, which is a Nintendo game, if you didn't know. And I can't <coughs> comment on it because I've, I've never played. I love how colorful this is. I think it's really, really well designed, and I think it's cool. I think it doesn't have quite the... Um, doesn't have quite the recognition factor that obviously Mario does, which is pretty, like, across the board. And then, like, I think next in the Nintendo line, you would say that, like... Um, uh, Zelda is the next recognizable. This one, I think, kind of falls down the line a little bit of recognizable Nintendo properties. Well, um, it's, it's an older property, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's, I mean, it's a very popular one for Nintendo enthusiasts. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. No, no, no question. Clint, I'm going to, um, I'm going to refill our coffee and I'll be back in just a moment. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a good build. I love the ship. I think it's cool. Do I think it'll make it through to ideas? If I'm, I'll say this: If Zelda doesn't make it through, this is definitely not, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's a. I, I think it would be a lot of people would be like, "What is this?" Um, yeah, Metroid is a really, really old game, um, but that people still like. Okay, this is so cute. I love this idea. I love this build. I would. I can only hope that they would do something like this. Um, it's it's just adorable. I love the build. I love the concept. Um, I don't know. It looks like hopefully it. I think it hinges open, but I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I think it would be. Um, I think this is fantastic. Um, I haven't seen. I'm trying to think like. Have we seen a lot of Lego Ideas buildings, like actual architecture buildings in a little while? And I'm trying to think over. You can remind me in the chat because I don't keep keep all up on it. But this is definitely um, a really great one and, and, and one that, you know, I supported and I think it's really, really fun. Um, but uh, but yeah, you're right, Holly. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's outside enough outside of Lego's typical wheelhouse. It's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, Alexander 22 says I expect Mary Poppins to come down on an umbrella exactly I'm Mary Poppins y'all sorry gotta do that um, <laughs> one of my favorite parts from the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie can I just say all right so I think this is this is great I don't know if it would again this seems very very much in the style of the modulars and um, I don't know if you know, I don't know. I don't know. I would say yes, please. I just don't know if Lego will say yes, okay. But it's great. Um, Ooh, I like what you said. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one. This is near and dear to my heart. This is, I think, of a lot of the ones that I've seen, one of the most slick and beautiful models that I've seen of, of, of a car and a car that I just absolutely love. Um, you know who this looks like it was built by to me? 
Who? Jake Sadovich. Yes, this is it. Does definitely does have a Jake vibe um, to it. But I, um, it's just it's such a lovely model. Oh my goodness. I mean, and I just I feel like um, I don't know. I mean, this would definitely appeal to an uh, an older adult market. I don't know that a lot of kids would know what this is. And um, and Holly, you're right. I know they're probably not going to make all those chrome parts. So that yeah. may be one of the kind of like, uh, I don't know. But well, man, it is it's uh, it's really beautiful. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's a popular enough IP with with today's um sort of mm -hmm. broad spectrum of Lego fans. Right. But this is my favorite of the models we've seen so far. I feel like it's just perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. What is that element in the very front? The gold, the horizontal gold bar. Yep, it's a, it's a horizontal gold bar, I think. But that's not a lightsaber. <laughs> it's no, no. It looks a little bit longer than your, yeah, than your normal. Yeah, I don't know that element. Um, oh, and you're right, uh, Patrick Wismer. This would be a great one for the. Um, uh, this would be a great one for the uh, the Bricklink program. So yeah, I, I, let's cross our fingers. I hope they make all those parts in Chrome. Yep. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is Among Us, which is a very popular game right now. And as Holly mentioned before, stuff based on popular current video games don't seem to make it through. I think it's just because games, even really, really popular ones, can sometimes be a little bit of a flash in the pan. And, mm. does, and, and it seems like if they're going to focus on a video game pr uh, property, it's going to be something along the lines of Mario, something that's got like super long lasting, yeah. overarching appeal to it, a lot of things. It's a beautiful model. It really is. But I don't you know, I don't see it fitting into the into the things that Lego normally puts through. It seems like Lego plays a longer game, right? Like once they make the set, they know it's going to be around a while. So hopefully interest would be. Yeah. Yep. Although an ice blue astronaut would make me happy. Well, and a purple one. And a one. purple one. Hello. <laughs> Is that medium? It's not medium azure. That's like Elsa blue. Yeah, exactly. Rob and Holly are, are saying that like it's too risky when the game may not yeah. even be popular anymore by the time the um, by the time the set comes out. So uh, but still, I think it's really cool. Um Oh, and Ben Alder m mentions that he thinks that the um, Bricklink program is uh, is only for non-IP properties, and I think you are right. I think you are right. I'm sorry, I need to step away. I'm so sorry. So this is um, called Welcome to the Black Parade. Now, I know this is a band of some kind, and I understand that it made it to the... Um, it, it made it to the... Uh, uh, let's see. Hang on one second, folks. Uh, hi, I'm back. Um, anyway, oh, My Chemical Romance. Thank you, Patrick. I am, um, I, I have no idea what's going on here, but it looks like, uh, I guess, so I guess the, the band that, um, that, this is of did a big push for it, which is what I understand is how it got to. And I got to say for a Lego ideas set, I don't think it's going to make it. They haven't done anything based on a band property. Plus the build itself, while cool, is pretty repetitive. And, um, you know, it, it doesn't have like the wow factor. I got to say that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, this like this to me, like when I look at this, I feel like. I could reverse engineer this myself and make it at home with parts that I have, um, which isn't, um, you know, it, it is not necessarily what uh, we're looking for in an idea set. Right. And we want to feel challenged a little bit. So it's not video. Exactly. Wilfred. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I am in love with this one. I think the the, the color combinations the build style is so cool. I love those green macaronis. This is this one, you know. Uh, oh, and I, ha I just realized I haven't used this yet today, but. This is really, really great. Um, yeah, so I got to say really, really. I think this is really, really fun. I think it's um, uh, it's very realistic. It's very goes along with um, yeah, and, and Holly, you bring up the point that I was just going to say. I have a feeling 
that given the botanical line that's coming up, this may be something that they are already, that Lego's already working on themselves. Um, so is it in line? If, if Lego wasn't already doing um, a, a bouquet line, you know, a, a florals line, this may well, this may well have gotten through. I'm just worried that it's too close to something that they're already doing. Um, but I think it's, uh, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful build. Um, all right. So here we go. This is the village post office, which is a really cute, uh, which is a really cute build. I love the, I love the telephone booth. I love the, the vintage car that looks very much like one from, uh, the um, the winter village line. Now we did already get a post office, a winter village post office. So I don't know necessarily if this one would be while a beautiful model and I would love building it. Um, and again, like I mentioned at the beginning, these are, you know, like these are just our opinions and how we think that Lego might look at these things. Um, and I and I feel like, you know, and it's certainly Lego is not above doing, you know, the same thing multiple times, Star Wars ships. Um, but I don't think it would be just exactly, Holly. I don't know if this would be the best use of ideas, but I really do like it um, a lot. I think it's really cute. Um, it's got a lot of um, a really, uh, really sweet little touches to it. I love the plants on the building. Um, really nice. All right. OK, this is called Train Bookends by Jimmy DK. I love this idea. I've seen a lot of these actually um, these like bookend ideas. What a cool thing. And it really I mean, what I like about it is it's like it's a nice tribute to uh, it's a nice tribute to trains. It's um, it's again something that you could put on your shelf. Right. Um, and incorporate into your your regular daily decor. So I feel like this one may have a chance um, at making it just because it's got um, a lot of elements that Lego likes and it does go along with that, like the globe and the ship in a bottle and, and many of the other things. Right. Um, and I, I think this could be could be cool. So like this one a lot. Very cool. Um, stands a good chance as it's usable, different and trains. There you go, uh, Ben. Absolutely. Um, okay, so we've got this Viking long ship, which, again, I think is really cool, but Lego itself produced a Viking ship a while ago that was, I think, truly spectacular. So I'm not quite sure how this one will fly. It seems, it seems a teeny bit simplistic for an idea set. Um, it seems mostly based around the figures, seems to be the bigger part of it. And again, I do think it's beautiful. I don't know that it isn't necessarily in line. So um, there you go. Bye, Moto. I guess Moto was here and, and out again. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm sure there will be a lot of fans for this. I just, uh, again, feel like it's um, with the shields, it's a little repetitive and maybe just a little simple for ideas. OK. Uh, this is fantastic. This is OK. This gets. Um, I. I think this is wonderful. Oh, my goodness, you're right. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I didn't realize that we were well past. You have to remind me. I get so I get so caught up in here uh, that I forget that it's time for a special a special guest. So let me um, we're going to take the pause that refreshes here, everybody, and we'll be right back to talk more about this fantastic model. Oh, here he comes. Can you hear him? Come on, buddy. Hi. Look, everybody. Logan's here. It's Logan cookie time. Everybody's favorite time of the day. All right, here we go. And whoop. Whoa, that was a good catch, buddy. We've got one over here. Say hi to all your fans. All right. It, oh, look, there's a little cookie looking at the camera. And wow. Yay, Logan, you are such a good catch. He's gotten really good at that. I'd say over a year and however many months he's gotten really good at it. Right, Logan. And we'll do one more for the sound of happiness. 
I love that you can kind of pick it up in the microphone. Yay, Logan! Good boy! Ah, very good. Um, yes. Oh, yes, you're right. and Wilfred brings up a good point. We are actually in the middle of our two-week build challenge, which is due tomorrow at 5 p.m., and it's the Logan Challenge, based, of course, on our dear Logan idea by Brickworm. But you can make it whatever Logan that you want. Maybe it's Logan's Run. Maybe it's Wolverine. That is uh, entirely up to you. Um, so there you go. Hi from Bunny, Beaker, and Winston. Oh, thank you, uh, Big Squirrel Abby. That's adorable. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I'm so excited that people are doing the Logan Challenge. It makes me really excited. And if I didn't mention uh, before, we have another challenge coming up that's going to throw us a little bit off of our two-week game. We're going to be we're going to revert to a one-week challenge for one week. Um, starting and we'll be announcing that on Friday if you are already on the discord or if you were at the tricky lug meeting the other day you kind of got a jump start on that so I would say if you want to know more about it join our discord server um, and I'm noticing that people are joining the discord server but they're not actually hitting the Logan emoji that allows them to see the whole channel so if you're new to the discord server make sure you hit that little Logan emoji on the entry page to make sure that you get access to the whole site um, okay, so let's head back on over to the interweb. Um, I, I think this is, I think that this is fantastic. I love this. Um, I, I, I don't know how, I don't know. I would love, I would desperately love to see this made. I think it's absolutely stunning and a beautiful piece to put on, on your shelf. Um, I just don't know, like, they've never done anything like this before, right? I've never seen anything like this before. So I um, will see whether this makes it or not. This is a this is a question mark for me. Um, yeah, Slug Biker, um, I agree. Like, I, I think it's beautiful. I don't know if it would, but I also agree with Hooded One. This is... Um, uh, this is something that we need right now. And Maraid, also, I absolutely agree with you. I think um, it would be do great on the BrickLink. If it doesn't make it, it would be great on the BrickLink. Absolutely. And I would, I would really, really hope um, it gets made. And it just it makes me think so much of New Orleans when I live there and going to see bands play. And yes, finally a trumpet for Rob Zicardi. <laughs> it's true. If you're gonna bump it, bump it with a trumpet. There you go. And I've got my, I found a bugle the other day, which I was very happy about, a Lego bugle. All right. Sorry for the burst of singing there. Okay, so now we have from our buddy Tiago Caterino, we've got an, uh, I think he improved on his Animal Crossing build from the last time, which I think didn't make it through. So he's given it a try again, simplified the build a little bit. Um, I think it's, I think it's really cute. And I think, um, again, we're talking about Nintendo and um, even though this game became very, very popular, um, uh, I don't know that it has the widespread appeal enough to um, to make it all the way through like a Mario or something like that. Uh, so there you go. Oh, Spud Hill Farm. Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't happen often, but we do try. We do try. Um, so. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm, it, it is interesting that there are no figures. Like, you'd think that there would be a, there'd be a figures on this one. So, and, it, and you're right, it is very similar to the, um, to the, uh, oh my goodness, um, Yoshi's House. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, it did. It, it's, it's an older game. It's always had a really good following. It is a big thing. I just, again, don't know if it's, gonna fit into the um into the ideas uh thing as as it is i think it's really cool though um okay so we've got the medieval marketplace here now we've already seen a medieval marketplace from lego it's a very very popular older set um i do love the architecture on this and i love that big tower um i think it's uh and darren siegfried yes you could definitely use 
that. <laughs> you could definitely use Fabulam figures in that last one. Um, so, yeah, this is. Um, I think this is really great. I think it's a. I think it's a cool idea. Again, it seems like. Um, Lego is already moving back towards Castle when we got the um now we did get though the um the blacksmith shop idea set so who knows maybe this is something that could be a companion I don't know that we've seen um I don't know that we've have we seen yet and please correct me if I'm wrong but I don't know that we've seen Lego uh, multiple idea sets that are kind of like part of the same theme or like like that would connect together and I wonder if they would move forward with something like that because it could be really cool. Um but yeah, Bricklink, this would definitely be a shoe in for the Bricklink program. Absolutely. All right. Bike lanes which okay, now I get the idea behind this. It's been very popular and they've been tr wanting to add um, uh, like been, people have been been wanting bike lanes included in uh, for a long time into the Lego system. And you can see here that they're using the ideas similar to the um, the new road plates that have come out. But I just I, I I'm sorry, but I don't see this. I don't see this happening. Um, but I. Uh, you know, it's a cool set as far as ideas. Again, too simplistic, but I love the idea behind it. I love the idea. I think it's a great idea, and I definitely think they've been waiting for that. So, um, hey, Colin Hines, welcome. Welcome to all the new folks in here today, anybody. And hey, if you're new and you haven't done it yet, or even if you've been here for a long time, please like the video. All you got to do is just hit that little thumbs up button below. Um, and if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. We would love to have you and hit that bell button so you know whenever we're here, even though our schedule is pretty regular, I gotta say. Um, all right. Let's uh, we'll keep on going. Working bowling alley with functional pin setter and ball return. I think this is so cool. Like, what a cool concept. What a cool idea. And I would love to see it happen. Um, I think uh, this is, uh, again, another piece that I think might do really, really well um, uh, for uh, the BrickLink program. I don't know. Um, I don't know for sure about whether it would fly on ideas. I tend to think not, again, a little simplistic, um, but a really cool concept. And I think it would be really fun. Um, so that, I think that's a pretty cool idea. All right, Asterix and Obli um, Oblix, really wonderful models. I don't think has a wide enough appeal to um, to to be an idea set. I don't think enough people know what this is. Like I only know know it through cultural osmosis and having looked at a lot of um, Sunday comics when I was a kid. I don't know that a lot of people know what this is or who they are, right? So we'll see here. And oh, you know what? That's a that's a really good um, that's a really good point. Delicious foods. There's actually already a bowling alley. Sorry, going back one subject. There already is a bowling alley in the BrickLink program right now. Um, but this is awesome construction. The faces look great. I think it's wonderful. Um, ultimately, I think it's um, it's too unfamiliar to too many people. Um, but a great model nonetheless. So there. Oh, we've got more bookends. This time we have um, Lego books as bookends, <laughs> which I think is cool. And it says there's a secret safe with hiding spots, which I think is really cool. But I think if I had to, you know, now that we've got two Lego bookends going head to head, if you were, um, I think um, that this of the two, I think the train one is far more intriguing. Like, I love the way that the train one has like half the train going, you know, coming out of the tunnel and the other half going in the tunnel. Um, I think it would be uh, um, really cool. So if I had to choose between the two, I'm afraid I would have to say the train is the one that is more likely to get through. But this one is also lovely. Um, all right. So this is the Shire, the Hobbit hole of Frodo and Bilbo Baggins, a great um, a great model, but it's been done. Not only has it been done, but it's been done really well and popular, and they've included 
the um the uh, uh the cart there which was also a lego set in the past uh that i actually had the had the the luck to build lately um so it feels like i don't know i don't know it, 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 i I'm going to have to say probably not on this one. And that's also a lot of grass. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, I want more uh, Lord of the Rings sets as well. But, you know, OK, this the King's Castle. This, again, a really beautiful set um, that I think will probably fly better on Bricklink than it probably will on uh, as a Lego idea set. Although I think it's really, really been it's really really delightful um i love the the look of it i love the that rounded building on the side with the blue roofs i i just think it's really it's really really lovely um so uh oh and, and then look we've even got those little shield tiles like we've seen on that new creator three in one um set as well so let's see i'm gonna do this a little bit because it's getting brighter outside all right Next up, we've got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now, we've already had, it's funny that we had like a chocolate store earlier. <laughs> um, and I do think that as a property, this one is one of those ones that has mass appeal, right? Mass appeal. Like many, many people know and love this. Um, I, think it's got a, I think it's got a lot going on, I think. Now, based on other things, it almost feels like this is a little too complicated. Like this is a little too much like a mock and it would need to be it would need some redesigning. And it seems like it would be a complicated build uh, for just your regular builder who would be picking up the set. Um, I feel like um, a lot of the Lego idea sets are a little bit more straightforward uh, with their um, with their building styles. And, um, and you're right, Debo Bricks, it needs the boat, right? It needs that boat. Um, but yeah, the minifigs are fantastic. And I would love, love, love to see um, some of these minifigs be out for us to have. Absolutely. I think it's a great idea, great concept. Um, I think it's maybe a little overcomplicated for your regular, regular builder. All right. Uh, the Truly of Albero Bello, which I don't, I'm afraid that I don't know what this is, so you'll forgive me. Um, and I, I, I think it's really, I think it's a, a cool model. I don't know that this will fly as a Lego set. It seems like you kind of have to know what it is. And I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I don't, I just, I, if anybody knows, please tell me. And again, I think that that um, that roof concept is really interesting, but again, maybe too complicated for for an idea set. Right. And 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 there's just the kind of like, I don't know. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, <laughs> Bricks O'Brien. Clearly, this is Hagrid's hut. <laughs> it's definitely got some Hagrid's hut vibes going on. <laughs> I've got to say. Um, very good. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, well, this is lovely. This is um, ancient Greek temple. Uh, I think this is uh, I think this is really pretty. I um, I think it's a great idea. I think this could. Um, mm, I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure if this one could make it through or not. It seems, again, a little mocky, right? A little a little fiddly with all of the little tiny plant pieces and all the things. But yeah, I um, But yeah, right. You know, Cowboy Cornado, I think you're right. This this does this would do well as a gift with purchase set like on a smaller scale i think this could be really fun um yeah you want the temple in disrepair <laughs> absolutely um all right so we've got the karate kid wax on wax off um i think hmm I, I, I think it's interesting but I think a little too. Oh, gosh, I don't know what what the word is I'm reaching for here. I think this is just a little too. 
normal. I mean, like I look at that and I just see a house like if it didn't say Karate Kid on it, I would say, wow, that's a really amazing build of a house. And I like the parts use on the fence and all that kind of stuff. But I wouldn't call that as being like instantly recognizable. Right. Like I wouldn't say I would know what that is, where I would look at the. Um, I mean, maybe it would sell, maybe it would sell well, but I just don't know that it's um, it's specific enough. Exactly. Um, yes, with Cobra Kai out, it is it is current. Yep. Um, and it does have the figs. I can see them down there uh, right by the cars to the right of the cars. There are the figures. Um, but without any interiors or anything, I think this might be might be difficult. Um, OK. Wow, this is so cute. I love the I love the corner facing building. Um, I love the uh, the 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 facades on either side. Now, I don't know if this has any interiors in it or not, but Winter Village and Santa and stuff is pretty well trodden territory for Lego. Right. It's very um, it's very, very reminiscent of, of the Winter Village sets. And I could see, you know, maybe this would be one that would make it to the Bricklink uh, area. But I don't think they're going to do. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see a Winter Village style set make it through. All right. They, yeah, this is definitely covered. This has been covered ground. Um, hey, I'm Bored Toys. How's it going, Kevin? Welcome. Um, so, OK. Ugh, the sewing workshop. Again, this is like a, a, a long line of, of really cool and amazing buildings that I think will be much more suited to the BrickLink program than they will to ideas. And of course, I, d I love the um, the inclusion of the um, of the of the trees whose name is escaping me right now. Um, those are like really sought after trees, I know, from everyone. And it's just a backdrop. But again, another one that seems, you know, great, but destined to be more like a like a brick link thing. Right. All right. Oh, please make this happen. <laughs> I love Totoro and I would love to see Lego do something with Studio Ghibli. I think it would be so, so cool. Um, I, I, I just I love the cat bus. I love the Totoro. I don't know if this would if this would happen, but it, I feel like this would do this would do really well. Right. I think this would do really, really well. Um, I know a lot of people would be really, really, really into this. Yes, there has been uh, the, uh, there was there was another Totoro that I think was basically just based around the character. Um, I don't remember exactly, but man, that cat bus is sending me. <laughs> um, and there's. Um, you know, and, and Holly makes a good point that the like Ghibli stuff has been rejected and I don't know. We'll see. Um, but very cute. All right. The NASA's SLS with um, with Artemis. It's nice, but we've seen very, very similar sets coming out lately. So I'm going to have to give uh, a probably not on this one. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, the Lisbon tram. Beautiful set. I love the tram. I love the buildings. Again, I hate to keep saying this and to keep punting them off to the to the um, to the uh, the Bricklink program. But any of these ones that are so close to modular buildings like this, I just don't see them. I just don't see them going through. I just don't, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, as beautiful as this is, I'm going to have to give that one a probably not. Um, the train. Again, a beautiful train, but I don't see, you know, we did get the crocodile train recently. I don't know how big trains, uh, you know, are over time, right? Like, are they going to keep doing train sets? Is a very, very specific Canadian train interesting to people outside of train enthusiasts or Canadians? Um, I don't know, but it's a cool train. <laughs> I don't know. Um uh, uh, Kim makes a good point. Ghibli is a very difficult license. You're right. You're right. Um, 
Castle Lord of Castle of Lord AFOL and the Black Knights. <laughs> Again, beautiful model, but I'm going to have to punt this off to probably more suited to the brick link. Then, um, but you never know. Again, whoops. You never know. Didn't mean to fly past that so quickly. Sorry, everyone. <whistles> but yes, um, castles. Castles are awesome. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry, everyone. All right. The SpaceX um, Starship and Super Super Heavy. Maybe I'm going to say probably not. It's a nice model, but again, we've gotten a lot of space lately. Um, all right. The Krusty Burger is great. Um, I know, you know, there's already been a Simpsons line and I think that they don't have that license anymore. So I don't think mm, this may not make it through um, for those reasons. Um, if they ever decide to like reinvigorate the line, I could see them possibly doing something like this. Um, hey, Barbarian King, we'll see you later. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate uh, appreciate you coming by. Really do. Um, always love it. Um, I uh, always love it when we have new folks in the chat. So thanks so much for coming and visiting us. Um, OK, so Lego modular expansion pack. Now, this is interesting, but I feel confusing. Like, I don't know where to look on this. There's so much going on, and I get that it's a modular expansion pack. But again, if Lego is going to do something with modulars, they're going to do it on their own. And I really don't see it. Um, uh, I really don't see it going past that um another really cool car lovely um i think again a little um well it's got the chitty chitty bang bang vibe going on to it right um we're seeing a lot i feel like we're seeing a lot of similar ideas here right like these like old types of cars and we're about to see another castle um, which I know people really, really want Castle to happen, but I just don't think we're going to see a lot of Castle happen in ideas, especially since we have this new three in one Castle coming along. Another Castle, <laughs> another, another, another fine model, another, I don't know if they're going to, they're going to go with it. Okay, here's one that is I just a gorgeous model. Absolutely gorgeous and would pair really nicely with the piano model that made it through. Um, so I, I think this is lovely. Um, and I'm going to have to give this a little bit of applause. Um, there you go. Um, and this and this does seem a very Lego Ideas style set to me, something that they would definitely want to cover, that they would definitely want to cover. Right. I think this has got I want to say this one's got a pretty good chance. Um, and because it does, again, call back to the piano um, and really they are doing the Ideas guitars. It's true. So musical instruments is kind of a road they're going down. Uh, so. Okay, this is Marine Life by Brick Dangerous. This is lovely. I really, really love this. I the my only I think the models are great. Um, maybe a little too fiddly with the stuff at the bottom. Um, I feel like the jars are a little too close to the ship in a bottle. I mean, it basically is the ship in a bottle bottle with the end cut off of it. So I don't know if we would see. I don't know if we will see this happen. You can see I'm starting to blow through them now. Um, I love this. And I can tell you right now that Richard would go crazy over it. No surprise. Um, I uh, I think this is a beautiful model. I would I think this is a, a, probably a shoe in for the BrickLink program. But again, Lego's got space covered pretty hardcore. All right. OK, we have another version of The Office, the second one that made it through. So people clearly really want The Office. Whether or not we're actually going to get it is another story. Maybe um, it's very possible. I think I may have liked the other one a little bit better just because it's a little bit more compact. Right. Um, so we'll see. Uh, Lego Snow Globes. Lego Truman's got a lot of stuff going on here. I love these. Um, I think they're really cute. Again, Lego does their own Christmas stuff. 
It's also still really close to the um, the uh, uh, the ship in a bottle shape. And also, I think um, they just did a snow globe challenge on the Australia Lego Masters. So how about that? Um, there you go. Um, map of Middle Earth. Love it. All of the nerds are going, yes, yes, please. And I and I do love the idea of the of the map concept. The only troubling thing to me about this is unless you were going to hang it on the wall when it's sitting flat, I don't know that you'd see how awesome it is. You know what I mean? Like, you, I don't know that you would see how cool it is from from the particular angle that you would display this unless you were going to sit it up like as it's presented here at an angle. So, um. There you go. Oh, I love this. This is such a cool, this is such a cool thing. And it really, it reminds me a lot of the diner. It's got the similar thing. And I love the treatment uh, with the classic space logo on the top, um, uh, but still seems very Lego modulars to me, right? A little bit. Um, um, I so so we'll see. Yeah, I think this is a beautiful display model. I don't know if it's too close to um, to stuff that they've already done, but again, yeah, prime for Bricklink. Okay, so we've seen this. This went through once before and made it, and now it's come back around again. Um, and I don't know. I think it's a beautiful model. I would love to have it. I think it's a great recreation of the original uh, of the original one. Um, it's the it's the um, the Disney license like that. So I don't know. The Disney license may not it may not fly, but also but just beautiful. I don't know that this would uh, make its way to Bricklink because it's an IP. Um, yeah, Wilfred, yes, it seems like a lot of castles, a lot of modulars and a lot of the office. <laughs> and actually, I'm surprised that Lego hasn't come out with an arcade as one of their modular buildings. Um, OK, this one's called A Nice Day at the Farm. I love the the uh, the greenhouse that we've got here. I love the farm building and the barn. Um, I, I think that the green uh, I like the green truck. Is it going to get a Lego Ideas nod? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's cute. Um, oh, you know, you're right. Brick Squirrel, what am I saying? Winnie the Pooh is already a Disney license. Sorry about that, Ben. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. I've been talking here by myself for like an hour. I have no idea what's going on, you guys. I've forgotten everything. It goes in one end and out the other. So, yes, of course, um, uh, that Disney is a license that we've seen in Ideas. But I don't know how um, I would love to see it happen. I would love to see it happen. Right. I think this would be great. And, you know, it would be a great little add on to uh, to the Winnie the Pooh house. Absolutely. I know I'm I'm losing it, folks. It's been a long, <laughs> a long stream. We're almost there, but we're almost there. Um, OK, so this is the fourth bridge, which I know is um, a popular. Like, and I'll be honest, when I very first saw it, I thought it was the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, but I know we've seen uh, this before and it would be probably pretty, you know, I'm sure that people from where this bridge is would really appreciate it. Um, I don't know if it will have a lot if it would have a lot of widespread appeal. First of all, it's enormous. Like that is huge. I mean, how many base plates is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's just really big. It's really, really big. And I don't think uh, I just got I got to give this one a probably not. Right. Um, the bridge is trolling us. It is trolling us. It's true. Um, yeah, it's the, the size. You're right. Slug Biker is the biggest issue here. Absolutely. Um, but it is it is. You're right, Debo. It's an engineering legend. I get it. Um, and I just don't. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and yeah, we you don't. Know, yeah, no, I get it. Yes. Um, yes, Joel. Yes. We screwed up the bridge challenge. <laughs> like, and if you really want me to go into the story about why that happened, I will tell you. Um, anyway, um, 
Yeah, I think it's 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 uh, it's a. I'm not saying it's a bad model. I just don't know that it's going to make it through for the size, right? A bridge too far to expect this to make it. Says Wilfred. <laughs> All right. Um, this is interesting. I and very, very different from um, everything else that we've seen. Um, I think that uh, while I think that this is marvelously interesting, I do think that it is very, very so much like Technic sets that Legos put out before that I don't see um, ideas grabbing onto it. Right. I don't. It just doesn't seem like something that will likely get approved. Um, here we go. And finally, we have modular portal testing chamber. OK, so I will say that like Lego has already done a um, uh, portal thing, which was a great game, by the way. But again, so far out of the public consciousness at this point, even though it was in Lego Dimensions, which was cool. I, I think that this one has limited appeal and also is very fiddly with all those little pipes and things underneath. Like that seems like the um, that seems like a lot uh, to expect of of people, especially those who aren't fans of the game. So. So that's it, everybody. That is all 57. And you're right, Debo, if there's no GLaDOS, like why? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I first of all, again, I wanted to say um, congratulations to all of the people who put so much work into these and put work into getting their their builds up to 10K. It's a lot of work. Um, and I and I appreciate all of your hard work. So I think my um, my my picks for ones that will likely, you know, have a good possibility of making it through King Tut, the train bookends, the violin. Those are going to be my three picks of all the ones we've seen that are the ones that are. And oh, and the Snow White, the Snow White one, I actually think has um, has some legs because it's really beautiful. Um, and and we did see the we did see Winnie the Pooh happen. So maybe we'll get to see uh, Snow White happen. That would be really cool. Um, yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of really, really cool models. Not a lot that I think is going to really, really make it through. And let's be real, folks, with 57 models and only probably one or two that are going to make it through. Yeah, I think the stuff that we see that is really repetitive, um, stuff that we've seen on here before that, that got rejected. Um, we um, I, I think that we are only likely to see one or two. I hope they do, too. So, yeah. Um, so golly, everybody, thanks so much for sitting through 57 models with us today and, uh, and, and chatting. Yeah, I think that we, I think we're going to see a lot of stuff go to the Bricklink store, like that, uh, jazz model, which is beautiful. Um, the Rob Kitcher side says, since I'm trained on old ideas runs, I'm left confused about why many of these got in, but it's because of the change in appeal. It's why things sell out in hours. It's absolutely true. Um, I think, um. I, I don't know. I think. Uh, oh, and Holly says, especially since there are so many castles, they they can't pick just one without causing all kinds of drama. It's true. There's a lot to there's a lot to be said about that. And and I got to say, I don't. Um, it's interesting that that many made it through. Um, and I don't know whether it means like they need to start asking for less votes on things or if they need to. Or I mean, I'm um, sorry, more votes, more votes on things if they need to start asking for more votes or if they need to, like, limit the number to like the first 20 or I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like this is it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Um, so Slug Biker, you're welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. So uh, again, if you enjoyed the show, please go ahead and hit that like button down there. And if you are new, maybe if you enjoyed yourself, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you. Um, and I would. And so now we'll talk for a minute about uh, the ways that you can reach us. You can find us on Instagram at Tricky Bricks. By the way, folks, we are 25 people away from 10K on Instagram. So if you're not following us on there, please do. We would so appreciate it. You can email me at Flynn at TrickyBricks.com. If you want to send something through the snail mail, you can do so at Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94611. 
Um, so golly, what a, what a fun show. I'm sorry that, um, that Richard wasn't able to, uh, to join us for the whole thing. I know he's sorry that he wasn't able to be here. So, um, please, uh, do join us on Friday when we are going to be doing our, uh, what is it we're doing? Oh yeah, we're doing the Logan Challenge builds. We'll be looking at all your builds from the Logan Challenge and announcing our new one week challenge. So get yourself ready for that one. Then Sunday, we are going to be having Alyssa of Nine Brick City. And if you're not following her on Instagram, please follow Alyssa Nine Brick City on Instagram. She does these great little uh, short interview videos on Instagram Live called Nine Minutes with Nine Brick City. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. <laughs> um, nine Minutes with Nine Brick City. And um, th she's been interviewing lots of really, really fun people. So I think... Um, uh, I think that this is going to be um, a really, really fun Sunday. And we've got other we've got other people lined up for the rest of May. We've got so many special guests coming up. I know that Sunday is Mother's Day. And so a lot of people. Um, yes, that's right. Holly and Moto both did interviews with Alyssa this week. So they'll get to interview her now that she's going to be on the show. And I'm hoping I'm not positive. We I haven't gotten confirmation from her yet, but I'm hoping we will also be having Brick Huntress on the show on Sunday. She's uh, traveling right now and is going to try. And you're right. Cowboy Cornado Yano also did our very own Yano. Lots of tricky luggers showing up um, on uh, Nine Brick City. So we are we're really, really excited about uh, to have her. So hopefully, yes, hopefully Brick Huntress, because Brick Huntress, Kate and Alyssa are actually really good friends. And it would be great to have them both on the same at the same time. Um, well, thank you, everybody, so much for joining us. Uh, we uh, we really, really appreciate it. We will be back again on Friday at 10 a.m. or Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, hopefully that you, uh, you'll be able to make it. If you can't make it, stop back by. Watch the video later. We appreciate it. Um, and definitely check out lots of our friends who are here. We are trying on our Instagram to really start like tagging people that we that we like and people who have, um, you know, done a lot for the Lego hobby and the Lego community lately. We've all done so much over the last year. So thanks, everybody, for sticking with us and hanging out and being such great contributors to uh, to the Lego love out on Instagram and on YouTube. And uh, we really, really appreciate that. So thanks, everybody, so much for coming. And until next time, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, get that vaccine as soon as you possibly can, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>